Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your November Tarot forecast. I really like this energy for you because you have the nine of coins, which means people are noticing you. Maybe you're getting a promotion or expanding. It's fun and flirty. This nine of coins is a fucking vibe, okay? And then we've got this four of wands here. So like there's a lot of power right now. You have a lot of power right now, but it's important that we recognize the yellow color in these cards because the yellow is connected to our solar plexus, okay? And that is connected to your level of confidence. That is connected that is connected to your um willpower, meaning that you set your priorities and you follow them and you say no to the people that you don't feel you should be um, hanging out with the people, the things that you don't want to continue investing into. When you establish those boundaries, you really need to honor those boundaries and you need to trust this process. I feel like it could feel a little bit lonely for a short time just because there's a lot changing. And I think when we decide to prioritize ourselves, sometimes the people in our lives, they don't know how to respond to that. And they get a little bit triggered and then you feel bad and then you you stop investing into yourself because you wanna go back and you wanna make sure that everyone feels okay and satisfied and happy with you, but really then you're deprioritizing yourself. So I think it's really important that you set your priorities and you try to figure out what do you really want right now from life and for this next six month cycle. Now, we have a new moon in Scorpio this weekend and that is the first new moon after eclipse season. So this is a really important energy because we don't want to waste this energy and not pay attention to what's happening in our lives right now because we just started a new six month cycle. And you, you really need to, oh my gosh, you got an ace of cups here too. Ace of cups, hierophant, and this page of coins. Like, you really have an opportunity to plant seeds right now that will, especially if you commit to those seeds and nurturing them, those seeds can grow into a huge opportunity, especially with that nine of coins right in the center of your reading, right? This is in the center, so that's a very strong energy. And I feel like when you set your intentions clearly for what you want from your life for the next six months, and I can help you do that, um, when you're done this, go and watch the new moon workshop, okay? This is the first new moon after eclipse season. So we just started that six month cycle and this Ace of Cups is asking you to reach out and grab the invitation, okay? You need to accept the invitation. Now, an Ace of Cups is beautiful. It means that the universe is supporting you, it's helping you, it's inviting you into something new, but we can't just stand around and hope that the the ace of cups plants itself and grows itself like we have to actually take action so how do we do that we do things like under a new moon we plant the seeds we nurture those seeds so anyways i'm gonna tag the workshop right here you also have the fool card here and the death card here so it's like again new journeys new journeys okay Watch the workshop, please. Do yourself a favor, Sagittarius. <laughs> and you can pay whatever you want. It's a donation-based workshop. It's right there, all right? You have, especially with this Aries card, so maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries, but this Aries energy, this Queen of Wands and that Four of Wands, it's like you have an invitation to do something that you feel very excited about. Now, maybe at first it's just a dream that just drops into your mind and you're like, oh, wow, I really like that idea. Do it. Maybe it's an actual invitation from another person or you get a promotion or you get an offering for a new project or a collaboration or maybe it's another person who you've been like really attracted to and now they're like flirting with you and they wanna like ask you out or something like that. I just, I feel like if you notice that your energy, you could be feeling a little like <laughs> sexy lately too, um, but if you notice that your energy is connected to curiosity or play or excitement about something, it's like, ooh, this is like, this is exciting me. 
that is a really good sign for you, okay? This means that you could be led down a path where you find a lot of expansion, especially with the star card here. Okay, we have the star card, and that is a focus on your dreams coming true. I also feel like a lot of you are maybe, you need to take care of your mental health. You need to take care of your emotional health. Now, maybe for some of you, that means establishing boundaries and saying no to some people because I have the four of cups here, and I feel like some of you are just getting bored with the same old thing over and over and over. However, you still feel obligated to show up or you still feel um, like you have to prioritize other people's desires. Maybe you're in a relationship and you're noticing that it's starting to feel a little bit more draining than it felt before, okay? It could be family, friends, work, a project collaboration, whatever, but I just feel like there's this overall energy of you starting to get a little bit bored with noticing that you continue to go back into the same loop with these people. Or maybe you dated someone and issues came up and whatever, and then you guys broke up and now you're dating another person or you're noticing that it's like weird. Like why does that same energy continue to come up in my relationships? Well, right now we are in Scorpio season, which is really helpful for transmuting any old energies or recognizing our patterns, recognizing our addictions. So maybe some of you have a little bit of an addiction to like the bad boy, for example, and it's like, oh, he's so attractive, but really that's triggering a deeper wound connected to abandonment or connected to um, an anxious attachment style or something, and you feel like you have to chase somebody. You shouldn't feel like you have to chase someone. You shouldn't feel like, um, you, you don't know where you stand with another person. And it's like, do you like me? Do you not like me? If that person likes you, if that person wants you, they should be very clear about that. If they're not clear, if you're like confused about like, where do we stand together? Like, what is this? Then it's like, that's a red flag. You need to just stop investing into that. And maybe, no offense, just like examine why you feel the need to be seen by that person or be connected to this person. Like there's obviously a deeper energy here, maybe connected to a deeper wound and it could be connected to some daddy issues or just um, toxic masculine energies or experiences from the past. And I say that because we have Pluto in Capricorn right now for the last time in our lives. I believe he will leave and enter Aquarius again around November 19th. But the point is, from now until the end of November, we have, really it's like our last chance to really deep clean a lot of the old shit from the past that is connected to our daddy issues, that is connected to our toxic masculine energies, um, maybe any kind of abuse or oppression, um, bad investments of time, energy, money. It's like, this is a really good time for us to, to slow down for a second. And I say that also because you have this Knight of Wands reverse. This card for me is very Sagittarius, okay? So when this is reverse, I feel like some of you maybe are also not really 100% feeling like yourself. And that's a good thing because you are changing and growing and maturing and evolving. And I feel like a lot of you are maybe in this in-between where it's like, and maybe that's why you feel like you're losing your mind a little bit. You're like, am I going fucking crazy right now? You really need to get out in nature. You really need to take more time for yourself. You really need to focus on mental health, um, emotional health, like spiritual well-being. And I say that because, first of all, your birthday is coming up very soon. So right now you are wrapping up and closing out your year. Secondly, there's a lot happening in the sky right now, we have a new moon in Scorpio again. So we're initiating a new cycle, okay? And this Ace of Cups is welcoming in new relationships also. You're welcoming welcoming in new collaborations, relationships, romance, commitments. But for you to do that, first, your energy needs to stabilize. And I feel like right now it's a little bit rocky because you're kind of half in the past and half in the future. And you're like riding this like middle ground of like two worlds overlapping and you're like, Ugh. so I feel like 
when you can sort of root down and really figure out who is this new person, you, like what is your new identity, the new character that is still emerging, like give that person time to show up fully before you're trying to juggle everything at the same time, the past and the future, the old life, the old people, the new life, the new people. I just feel like there's a lot happening. So for you to like take a break would be amazing right now. Um, slow down. Don't make any last minute changes or surprise impulsive decisions. I feel like the seven of coins, yeah, like everything's gonna work out for you, especially with that temperance card and the sun, like everything will work out, it's fine, but you need more time to really see clearly. I feel like the fog is still kind of hazy and it's a little bit confusing. Now with the seven of coins reversed and that eight of cups, you're definitely thinking about how you don't wanna be investing your time, your energy, your money, and you're seeing that some of the connections, relationships, or projects that you've been investing into, it's like you've been watering that tree and there's like no fruit. And you're just like, okay, this is just fruitless. Like I need to shift gears. Now that death process, this really is the card connected to Scorpio, okay? This is begging you to just allow Scorpio season to help you transform and to allow you to release and experience that death and rebirth process however you have to. But again, don't waste this energy, okay? We just started a new six month cycle. We just finished the eclipses. Now we have the first new moon and it is in Scorpio, which is a very powerful sign. So go right now. Watch the new moon in Scorpio workshop. I'm tagging it right here. You can pay whatever you want. It's 25 minutes. It's a home video. You watch it anytime. But like, I feel like there are so many different things happening in your life right now. The best thing for you to do is to just take a break, take a breather, slow down if you can, and, and set the intentions for whatever you want to manifest over this next six month cycle, because we just started it. So again, don't waste it. Okay. Click right here. Watch the workshop now. I love you. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. I will see you very soon and ciao.